in our next series of laboratory exercises and homework assignments. Uh, we're going to use Microsoft Visual Studio development environment. I already have uh, started my empty shell right here. So we'll uh, start editing, assembling, link, and managing projects, and also be able to debug and disassemble programs uh, in computer memory. So Visual Studio comes with the Mi Microsoft Macro Assembler for both uh, x86 and x64 pro, uh, platforms. And um, in our course, we'll just be using a 32-bit flat memory model, which is the easiest environment to work with and also make it interact with the results of C and C++ um, code. Uh, so we'll just use a few different tools and uh, the Visual Studio also installs a um, combination of command line utilities that allow us to examine binary files and uh, um, examine content of DLLs and uh, quite a few other possibilities to work at the level of um, already compiled binary files. So these are our expectations for the runtime uh, environment. Uh, basically, the environment which is um, available to us when the program is already loaded into memory and runs on our specific CPU platform. So we're expecting to be able to interact with an operating system that we're running on, uh, calling system functions and services. And as we execute our program when we or we, rather when we build it we would like to configure it for one of these models uh, we're going to uh, use a protected uh, flat model uh, supported on both windows and linux platforms and so it gives us uh, roughly four gigabyte of memory to use um, in in our in our implementation and this is our first example of a program written in Microsoft Macro Assembler. Let's start by creating new project. But before I create my new project, I would like to choose the directory structure, which uh, I will be using in our presentations. So once again, I choose something very similar uh, to this uh, organization. So these are my Bristol uh, projects and I will create a new subfolder and name it uh, CIS261 and uh, we'll use uh, this location for all the projects that I will be creating in Visual Studio for uh, accommodating these assembly programs. Okay so from here we can just copy this location. Now go to file new project and uh, your starting point should be an empty project. Notice that I'm already making selection of C++ type of projects. My platform is Windows and uh, here an empty project for C++ Windows console environment is already at the top of this list. If for some reason it's not at the, at the top of your list, just be sure to scroll down to locate it. Uh, if you do not create empty project, that will be a big mistake uh, because um, <laughs> we're trying to avoid anything extra um, thrown into the project by the project creation wizard. So we just really need to have a bare bone environment where we can just copy and paste this and be able to start from this very basic level of coding. So empty project, C++, Windows, console, that's the project that you would like to be able to create. If you're getting some strange errors about unknown parts of the code, very likely that you did not create the right project. So clicking next, and uh, this will be, um, perhaps uh, uh, we can name it uh, week five for, <coughs> for our current uh, uh, section and uh, replace this location with what I copied and pasted from from uh, this directory. 
All right, so my directory is quite simple. I prefer to keep directories short because when I write code and uh, error messages often include full paths of my source files and uh, they just make reading error messages more difficult. Make sure to place your solution in uh, end project in the same directory. This just simplifies the directory organization quite nicely. Right, so this is uh, the environment where I'm expecting to create this week five project. So as I click create, it creates a week five project, which is empty. There are some files here, which are configuration of Microsoft Visual Studio solution you know, right here and some um, project files. So uh, let's um, create this file, uh, which we will uh, name uh, perhaps uh, uh, week five dot asm. Um, and uh, what we can do is uh, create new subfolder right here, new subfolder and name it source. I like to keep uh, my source files away from project files like this. So there's just one extra sub level right here. So this will be location of the file. And we create new uh, text document um, and uh, we will name it uh, week five, doesn't matter. Um, also notice that I need to rename the file extension from text uh, to asm can be lowercase can be uppercase doesn't matter you can see that right here I'm just indicating that this is a program uh, with extension asm which is a Microsoft macro assembler source file All right so uh, I'm I'm able to change it obviously but I want to tell you that if you uh, click view and uh, your file manager uh, by default does not display file name extensions then you will not be able to change an extension from dot text to dot asm it will persist as dot text no matter what you do so make sure that you click view and change file name uh, extensions display just make sure that it's check marked then you will be able to do what i just did all right so let's uh, <clears throat> add this uh, source file uh, to our project. So it's an empty file. I can just drag and drop it like this. Okay. It opens inside, inside Visual Studio and it's not included in our project. You can see the size of the file is zero and uh, it's empty file. So now I click file or rather view solution explorer, uh, which is uh, the structure of our project. All these levels are empty. Under source files, I will say add existing item so this will be the file that i just created and uh, it points me to the project directory i go down to source and click on asm and say add okay so now i added this empty file to my project inside solution explorer so i can close now solution explorer and even try to build it all right remember we've created this as um, um, as an uh, empty console application and because we're using debug and notice we're using x86 so we're using the debug platform under debug uh, you see that it it has some files but it never actually created any executables well the reason for it is that the project is still empty in terms of this file uh, although being included if I go to view solution explorer again if I go to the properties of this file asm file just say properties look what it says it says item type does not participate in build well this is because Microsoft macro assembler as a tool is not being yet added to the project I need a separate step to uh, tell uh, this environment that I would like to configure it to use Microsoft macro assembler so I'm going to cancel out of this and instead go to the project level uh, so you see this says solution and then this is the project level right click and go to say build dependencies build customizations right so right click the project go to build dependencies build customizations so Microsoft uh, macro assembler will be a customized utility used uh, 
in the part of building this application and so it goes and tells me that these are the options that I have and right here it says MASM Microsoft Macro Assembler this is the the type of the the tool that I need to select MASM and click OK so now this tool being added to this project and now I can go to source files right click and say properties week 05 ASM properties and here it does not participate in build still but now I can change it to scroll down to Microsoft Macro Assembler so now for this file Microsoft Macro Assembler will be invoked and we'll click apply and OK so now if I go back to build notice I say debug x86 and uh, build this configuration uh, I will um, click build and um, uh, now you can see that uh, in this output window it shows me that uh, it invoked assembler says assembling uh, this file we call 5.asm and uh, it gave me an error uh, telling me that there is no end directive uh, that uh, appears in this file so you would want to say end oops I just type it in end uh, directive uh, that will be uh, marking the ending of my assembly source file so now if I say build um, now I'm getting to the linker error that tells me that there is no uh, main uh, function basically found uh, that uh, needs to be uh, placed in our in our code so it's okay but uh, assembler uh, was able to process this file so now let's uh, replace this ending uh, instant ending with instead with this uh, code okay so we'll make us uh, just copy and paste uh, this code right here we'll replace this file name is week 05asm um, this is just like a uh, the simplest program the simplest asm program uh, <clears throat> which does nothing okay it just does nothing so uh, this is the main procedure uh, and this is how it looks like inside this ASM file and it has only one instruction which is a return statement the return instruction that returns back to the caller which is our operating system